Welcome to a new video where I'm going to show you more about an all-in-one speakerphone from Logitech called Logidoc. And in this video, you will see how it's going to connect and charge with a MacBook, with a laptop, smartphones and tablets. We are going to see if this all-in-one speakerphone provides value in hybrid work situations when you're on the road. We're going to go deeper into the management and configuration tuning with Logitech Sync tool. We're going to compare this speakerphone to other existing speakerphones on the market from Jabra, Poly, and Apos. And last but not least, the question is, should I stay or should I go? And I'm going to give you my verdict and my recommendation. Thanks for tuning in. Like every good speakerphone, you've got buttons here to mute and change the volume up and down. And here you also have a button to enable and disable the camera, which is very useful. USB-C twice, USB-A twice, you can connect an HDMI and a DisplayPort monitor. There's a special cable here, USB-C to connect to your device, as I said, MacBook, laptop, smartphone, tablet. Now you can ask yourself, why do we need a power plug here for this uh, speakerphone? Because all the other speakerphones on the market work wireless after being charged. So this is a very good question, but keep in mind, it's a docking station. And this docking station is going to charge your devices, not only connecting them. As an ambassador of hybrid work, I'm very interested to find out how the Logidoc works when traveling and cruising around in my van. Okay, let's jump into my car. Obviously, I'm not sitting here in the front. I'm in the back up. My Dell Latitude laptop. I'm going to connect it here directly with the USB-C cable into the Logidoc. That hybrid work experiment went well on the road. Logidoc could connect to my power system in my car, in my van. And now I'm going to show you how I'm using the Logidoc within my garden setup when I'm connecting it to my laptop, smartphones and tablet. Okay, here's my beach chair, table, Logitech mouse, Logitech keyboard. I've got a screen here, the Brio camera, Logidoc, which is our main unit to power everything and to connect everything because this is the only one next to the monitor which has got power plug. And for my S22 Samsung, I'm just using literally the USB-C cable to get it working because then it connects directly to the DeX mode from Samsung which is a very powerful mode to transform the standard Samsung mobile mode into a PC look and feel mode which, which is perfect for a large screen because you've got a lot of space and you can also put apps on the left and the right and float it around and not every single app is covering the full screen. On the other side, while I'm working here with the Samsung as my main computer, it's also charging. So it's not only connecting or transferring data, it's also charging by the Logidoc. I'm going to jump on a Zoom or Teams conference. One downside, which I need to mention, which is more on the Samsung side and not on the Logitech side, is that I only can use the, the built-in microphone and the built-in camera. So if I would have an external camera here like the Brio or the external speakers like the Logidoc, I cannot use them because in my Samsung, um, my Samsung phone, in my Zoom or Teams meeting, I can only use the default um, microphone and video source. Huge value here, if I'm going to jump on a Zoom, Google Meet or Teams call, then I can use the Logitech Brio camera, I can use the speakerphone Logidoc as a microphone source, so that's the difference here to the other solutions when I'm fully running on Android devices like my smartphone and my tablet. The biggest question what I had to Logitech was, can it also improve my classic working from home situation here at my desk? So we've seen a lot of garden situations on the road, but I'm spending a lot of time and many hours here in my classic home office. And here, my impression after four or five weeks of using the Logitech is it does not provide so much value to my ordinary desk because I'm using a desktop PC. It's all the fault of this uh, desktop workstation, call it gaming PC or whatever, but it's very powerful and I'm using only the Logitech when I'm connecting it to my laptop or my MacBook because the desktop under the table is offering so many co connections to two monitors as you can see here and to many USB-C and A connections and that's the reason why 
Logidoc is only used for mobile devices and also the Logidoc is not connecting to the ready bar system here from Logitech because this is powered by a system called Lenovo ThinkSmart Hub. Time for speakerphone comparisons. We're going to test the Jabra 710, the Polysync 20, EPOS entry level SP30T, EPOS premium level SP80T, and of course Logidoc. Jabra Speak 710. Now I'm talking directly into the Jabra 710 omnidirectional microphone. Now I'm talking to the Poly Zync 20. This is the EPOS SP30T speakerphone. Now I'm talking to the EPOS Expand SP80. Logitech, Logidoc. Now we're talking directly into the Logidoc. That's my voice when talking into the Logidoc. Ooh, that was interesting. Personally, I already have my winner, but please share with me in the comment who is your winner from the speakerphone comparison test. Let me show you now how the Logitune app works. The first value is you get notifications, alerts, so hopefully you won't miss meetings anymore. Sometimes with Outlook, I'm missing them. And with the Logidoc control button, you can also join the meeting directly. Then you see a list of your agenda items, and then you can go into the configuration of Logidoc Let's say you want to tune your microphone level or the equalizer to bass boost or into a podcast mode. You can also go and update the firmware. An interesting thing is there is a high speed USB 3.0 toggle, which you can which you can turn on and off. And if you go and um, want to use different monitors, there are differences here. So to make sure you read the Logitech support pages to make sure that your monitor ratio settings are matching here with the USB settings. Okay, let's wrap and summarize. I think you got the message. Logidoc is really helpful when connecting and charging your multiple devices or just a single device. The six beamforming microphones have an excellent quality. So if you want to use it really as a speakerphone to talk in your meetings and calls, I'm going to recommend it, that's for sure. If you're also using in earbuds, let's say the ones here from Logitech called Zone True Wireless, then if you are, are uh, putting them out of the case and putting them into the ears, they will switch immediately from the Logi dock to the wireless in your butts. And vice versa, if you put them back into the case, then they will also switch and the music goes back into the Logi dock. Noise reduction, yes, it works. It reduces for, uh, noise, but not on the same level like very specialized headsets. If you are a music lover and you would like to use a speakerphone to listening to music, wow, that's impressive. So here, that's one of the best, or maybe the best, which I found on the market. Meeting alerts, yes, you get the pop-ups, the notification, and you get nice ambient colorful lights, which show you when a meeting is currently um, starting or you just missed a call. That's something what I also haven't seen in other speakerphones. Hope you find this useful and thanks for watching.